we're going to install PHP and MySQL using the Microsoft's web platform installer. Uh, so first we'll start out going to this link right here. I'll post it in the description so you can read it better. Uh, then we'll go ahead and download it. Okay, it's finished downloading. I'll run it to install it. I've already installed the web server. And I run the add on. Allow it. Okay, now that we've installed it, we can go to Start Menu, All Programs, Microsoft Build Platform Installer. Okay, and here's PHP. We're going to select that and click Install. Shows you what you're going to download. We accept those. Okay, and it's finished. Okay, we'll go ahead and exit the installer. Uh, next, we need to install MySQL. So we'll go to this link here. Uh, you can pick a mirror. Okay, I'm going to pick the top one. And we're going to run the installer. Okay, and while we're waiting for that, I'll create a small script so that PHP can. I can show you the PHP is actually installed on IIS. Uh, here's the script. We're going to save it as. We'll go to computer, local disk, I got pub, www root. Okay, and we're going to save this as index.php. Make sure to change that to all files so to save that. Save. And close it out. I'll go to computer, back to the root directory, and let me get rid of the IS start, as well as the image. Okay, so now we can go to localhost. and it should be the PHP info. There it is. And it's running on IAS, Windows NT. Okay, the download's now complete. I'll go ahead and run it. And click Run. Next. I'm going to do the typical installation. Install. Next. Next. Click next. Detailed configuration. We'll do a server machine because we're going to be running other applications. Multifunctional database. That's fine. Default. That's fine. Default. All the defaults are here, are fine. Standard character set. Next, 
Okay, it's going to be installed as a service, and the name is going to be MySQL. Click Next. I'm going to put in a root password. And then confirm the password. And then Next. And Execute. Okay, and that's it. And the PHP info document that I created earlier now shows that MySQL is installed, version 5.0.51a. So first we're going to go to phpmyadmin.net and we're going to down download the application. Okay, we'll go ahead and save it. Go ahead and do that on the desktop. Okay, close that, minimize. And we're going to go ahead and extract this. We're going to extract it into the root directory of our IIS installation. So we'll go ahead and browse computer, local disk, inet pub, www root, and then we're going to make a new folder in here called php my admin. Okay, and that's where it's going to go. Okay, so we're in that folder now. Here it is. We're going to select all. Cut. And paste it into here. We'll get rid of this folder. All the files are there. Okay, now we'll go into the server manager, into the IAS manager, and turn it into an application. default website. There's our PHP my admin. We're going to go ahead and convert to an application. All the defaults are fine. Click OK. And we're good. And close that. Go ahead and open up our browser. And we can navigate to local host slash PHP my admin. And here we go. We can log in as root with our password that we set up for MySQL. And there we go. We've s installed PHP My Admin on a Windows Server 2008 Revision 2 server with IIS 7 and PHP and MySQL.